Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Hillbilly Military Modeling here and this is our weathering and final reveal video for our France 3538H tank by Trumpeter in 135th scale. In this video we're picking up where we left off in the last video where we had already sealed everything. Um, we're going to use this to me a panel liner black to go around all the details on the tank and this will provide us uh, with shadows and bring out the details that would otherwise get lost uh, in the color scheme of the tank. Once our panel liner has dried, we're going to come in with testers enamel thinner, and that's what I'm using here. Uh, and you can use any enamel thinner; it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, we're just going to clean up the uh, panel liner. And that's going to be necessary because there's going to be areas where there's too much panel liner. It's either too thick around certain edges like you can see here uh, where I'm cleaning up on this hatch. Um, or you may have accidentally <laughs> got a little spot somewhere where you don't really want it. And the panel liner allows us just to clean that right off. Now, you want to make sure that you don't have too much thinner on your brush, uh, otherwise you'll flood the surface. And here, I'm using a cotton bud or Q-tip to clean up uh, too much excess. And you can get that if you have too much thinner, uh, like I say, on your brush. So I like to do just one surface at a time that way I don't miss anything and you just need to take your time when you do this I like to walk away from the project and then come back to it and revisit all the areas to make sure that I've gotten everything This is the right side of the vehicle and you can see here on these bogies and the idler and the sprocket where I haven't cleaned up the panel liner yet and trimmed everything out. And this is the left side of the vehicle and I've already cleaned up and trimmed up everything and you can see what a nice trim appearance it has providing those shadows that we talked about earlier. Now we're going to add a little bit of extra detail that's not included with the model. We're going to put these chains on. This chain is, uh, I got this for the previous project, but uh, it was too out of scale. So I'm going to attach it to these rear uh, lifting eyelets. I will have to squeeze these uh, shackles together a little bit in order to make it fit properly, but that's easily done. Here I've decided on the length that I want for the uh, chain and I make a jig to hold the chain taut so that I can spray paint it and if you've ever tried to spray paint chain or anything loose like this you know it's a, it's a difficult prospect <laughs> at best uh, but with this using a little bit of copper wire um, we're able to keep the chain straight and we can paint it whatever color we want I always have a problem when it comes to approaching what metal should look like. In the case of these chains, I've decided to try something new. I don't have the exact color that I want, but I'm going to use this Anita's All-Purpose Acrylic Craft Paint Gray. And I'm going to paint these gray, uh, which of course I will have to thin considerably because craft paints are really thick. Once that's dry, I'm going to go back over it with this uh, Tamiya panel liner black and uh, just paint the chain and the clevises up. And this is the result. So it's not really black black and it's not gray and it's, I, I think it's a good look. So I'm going to go with that. <laughs> now we're going to turn our attention to the tracks. So I'm using Vallejo Pigments, Brown Iron Oxide, Old Rust, and Rust. 
and we're going to stipple on these pigments onto our tracks. Now we painted these tracks in the uh, Vallejo uh, primer black and that being a flat colored paint it gives us a textured surface that the pigments uh, can grip onto. We're going to want to cover uh, the entire surface with our first color, the darkest one, which gives us our base. One of the important things to remember is that when we go to seal this in, and it doesn't matter if you're using an acrylic clear coat of some kind or the before mentioned pledge, uh, revive it, the pigments are going to be darkened considerably so we're going to start out just a little bit lighter than we normally would for visual aspect and that's why I decided to start out with the brown oxide now we're going to do this for the inside of the tracks just like we did for the outside so I'm flipping the tracks over so that I can go ahead and apply the pigments there And I will continue this process with lighter and lighter pigments in smaller and smaller areas in order to give us a variety of uh, surface color. And then we just shake off all the extra pigment. So I've sealed the tracks with the Pledge Revive It and now I'm going to use this Testers Flat Steel and dry brush the pigments onto the raised surfaces of the tracks. Now this will be the surfaces that uh, make contact with the ground. And of course, we're not going to have any rust on uh, those portions of a running vehicle. The important thing here being that we unload the brush as much as we can because we don't want excess amounts of the flat steel um, running into our tracks. <laughs> We're also going to want to do this uh, for the guide teeth on the tracks uh, because those are wire areas that will be showing uh, bare steel. At this point I'm going to use the AK Interactive Rust Streaks and streaking grime to finish up the weathering on our vehicle. I'm going to come in with the rust streaks and we're going to make some uh, rust marks around the viewports and also on the attachment points where we're going to hook our chains And after that sets up, I come back in with some enamel thinner and I clean up these streaks and pull them down as you can see I'm doing here. And that's to give a streaking look. Being very careful not to, not to wipe it all out. <laughs> but if you do wipe it out, uh, you can always reapply and I also use the streaking grime uh, 
to kind of dirty up the uh, mating surface between the fenders and the upper hull and I blend that with thinner as well. Once I get everything looking like I want it, uh, I come in with the Model Master Acrylic Flat Clear and I seal everything in. And it's important to seal the model so that you don't mess anything up uh, in your next step. Uh, so everything is fixed. I want this vehicle to look like it's been used, but I don't want it really dirtied up. So I'm going to come in with this uh, Vallejo Pigments Burnt Umber. And I just dust up the lower portion of the vehicle and the, uh, the bogies and the running gear and the uh, drive sprockets. And to give you some perspective on how small this model is, uh, this is it in the palm of my hand and I've got small hands I'm only five foot four <laughs> so <laughs> uh, it is a small model and here I've displayed the model on the uh, rotating mirrored turntable uh, with the machine gun that we painted up so that you can see the scale And I really like uh, a couple of things about this model. Um, I enjoy doing the bottom of the hull with the uh, scraping and the rust to show that the vehicle has been used over rough terrain. And here I've placed the machine gun on the engine deck and that gives us a better perspective of the scale of this vehicle. And with that guys, I think that finishes up this project. Now in the future I'm thinking about possibly making a display base for this uh, project. And I didn't want to do a whole lot of weathering for it. So my concern there would be to match the weathering to the display base that uh, we make for it. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this build and how I finished it so far and whether or not you like this series. I'd appreciate it if I could hear from you guys uh, that it would help me uh, make this channel better for you. And I would like to also hear um, what you guys would like to see in my future series. So leave a comment in the comment section, and if you like this video, uh, please uh, press like. That really helps us out with the YouTube uh, algorithms, so that more people can see these videos. And if you are new to the channel, uh, and you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd appreciate that and press that notification bell so that you will get notified of new videos when I post them. As always, I would like to thank all my current subscribers and I hope you guys find something in this video that you can use in your model building. And just remember, all those models out there, they won't build themselves, they need us. <laughs> so, uh, I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, thanks so much.